Okay, so while I'm walking to my next place on this building, um, I thought I would use the time to get to the destination and just do a little bit of talking. Right, so I'm walking so far around a building that I would need two hose reels to get here. And lots of people often say, uh, it's the same kind of things, why don't you just walk with a pole to stuff that you're doing. I'll be working actually longer, harder, slower, and uh, getting less results. If I did walk with a pole, it, look how far I've walked. My van is a long, long way away. Okay, so we're at the place where I need to be, and um, there's places where you're doing uh, jobs like this where it's just easy and quicker. I've got to find where to put the camera because we're on a bank here. Um, it's just times where it's just easier if you know what you're doing and you've got the ability. And that's what these videos are about. Me and Trubman make these videos not for our benefit. Um, I've got to just dust these frames. It's cobweb season, so I want to get these as many cobwebs away from these frames as possible. <coughs> uh, we, we, I mean, I, I don't get any benefit whatsoever. I might get a little bit of satisfaction from people saying, I've tried what you've done, you've suggested, and my squeegee work is now on the next level of window cleaning. You know, that's all satisfying, but you know, to make videos when you're trying to really yeah, concentrate on earning as much money as you possibly can. So, well, for my reasons, I want to get home as soon as I can. I don't want to be out of the house longer than I need to be. Um, you know, so really, these videos take me time, cost me money, because I'm having to slow down. And, uh, you know, YouTube for me is not really, I don't want to be known as a, a reviewer on YouTube. I'm not really interested in popularity. And that's why I don't do any reviews of products, because I'm, I'm just not interested in being a popular YouTuber. Uh, I'm only interested in, my real job is window cleaning. I'm interested in only being the most efficient, most effective window cleaner. So I can earn the money in the least amount of time, get my customers to be as happy as possible, and um, not not waste or, or work harder than, than I need to. Right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm going to make sure that there's no debris on this um, uh, rubber. Now, I don't know whether that, that, uh, there's been a debris on my probably can't see it on the camera anyway but I've got to make sure that there's no debris on my squeegee blade um, there's a slight line it's not it's not a thick line so I'm guessing yeah there's a bit of a bit of cobweb here right so I've got to explain what I'm doing there's no drips I'm not doing straight pulls because straight pulls will give me less results and uh, inevitably I'll have to work longer, harder, slower to get higher quality results. I've got no drips, I've got um, great glide. And what I'm doing is I'm taking out at least one side of the window first. Uh, quite often I will now fan. Uh, here we go. I'm fanning the rest of the window. And I'm looking to close out away from this frame on the right here. So I'm positioning my squeegee the best possible way reducing as much turns as possible because the more turns you make the more uh, mistakes that could accru accrue so I'm turning very very gently uh, now because I'm restricted on this pole um, I have to concentrate on not getting as much pass as possible but decreasing the amount of mistakes that could happen so I'm not turning very effectively. Uh, well, I'm a, as effectively as I need to to get my squeegee to perform at the best rate. So it's not all about getting that squeegee spread cover. It's about positioning the squeegee the best possible way uh, to reduce as much 
problem as possible. And the good thing about the uh, pivot action on the accelerator is it's very, very um, pronounced. So I only need to turn the pole just a little bit to get a, a, a huge reaction. Now with a wagtail or with that Pulex, um, I'm not going to be able to get uh, as good action with the uh, turn I've got to turn the pole more to get that swivel action working. Okay, so I've just sh uh, shortened the length of the pole just a bit. I don't need it long now. I might need it. I don't want to be touching the bottom of the. Let me just move the camera as well. Can't see. <coughs> This is all the aggravation of filming. It just uh, slows you right down. Okay, so I, I might have to shorten this a little bit. I don't want the butt end of this long hole hitting the ground. Right, so what I'm doing is I'm cutting in. I'm not having those drips. I'm just taking all of that side out. And then I can just expand it to the rest. So I'm compensating on uh, not turning as much, making more moves, less angle turns. I want to reduce as much problem mistakes as possible. Right, what well, I should mention is um, also, I'm always constantly exchanging the size of the pole I'm working on. Uh, it's always good to train both sides when you're working on a pole. The reason being is you want to be competent when there are times when you have to use one side primarily over the, the other side of, of the pole because in the, when you're working against walls or bushes or obstacles it's always best to be on top of your game and that means practicing both sides until uh, you're, uh, you're as competent on your weak side as you are on your strong side. As you know, I call that being a versatile and adaptable window cleaner. I'm adapting to my environment, not only with the stance that I'm using with the pole, but the technique. The technique has to change according to, according to my um, environment that I'm working in. I've got a bit of every here. So, Mistake made, let's go the fuck over, back up over and fix those mistakes. So yeah, using a water fed pole will be a lot easier. This requires more skill, more ability, but I'm getting this window cleaned uh, with uh, the highest quality results without the need of bringing all my equipment around, apart from the pole and the camera and right. So, I'm now gonna, look, no one comes round here by the way. I'm, I'm in the middle of uh, nowhere, look. It's, uh, it's just a window to let the light in this factory. So people don't really come round here. But I wanna try and get the best quality job as possible for the sake of the people looking in to out. Right, so I've got a bit of soap here. I might need to put a bit more in. Saturated washer, 16 inch squeegee channel. Uh, I've got a sticker here that I need to contend with. That's going to slow me down. It's going to make me work longer, harder, slower. So what I'm now doing is I'm buffing up to that edge there, but because this soap solution is so thick and concentrated, I'm not going to give, be getting any runs. And exactly the same when I was up there. Um, the soap solution is so thick, and I'm just being extra cautious when I'm touching the top edge. There ain't going to be any runs. And quite often when you're using the accelerator, use it sideways to hit the edge and uh, you're not going to be soaking up the roof of the frame and you're going to reduce all the mistakes right so this oh, you can't see can you <coughs> move that bit further down oh shite right. here we go Right, now, sticker to contend with. Prime 
those positions of the squeegee get as much coverage feasibly as possible fed up to the side the window has a rubber seal to it pop over that sign there move on to the next one and we're done around here so I remember many years ago top window cleaners on YouTube were saying you can't use these liquidators on commercial buildings um, you can't do this, you can't do that with liquidators laziness and naivety because the skill base of the window cleaner or window cleaners that say this they're just uh, on a lower level of working so of course it's whatever they're working on domestic or commercial buildings these liquidators are just not going to work now I've got a bit of a mistake here no mistakes happen I'm not mistake free but that's finished now I'm going to walk off uh, and uh, finish the rest of this job off. So I think that will do for this video. Um, things are not perfect. But to reduce as much um, problems, get the highest quality results as possible, I need a few things going in my favour. A very strong, concentrated solution. Um, an adaptable, versatile way of working and uh, an increase in skill, ability, positioning power with the squeegee, getting the squeegee to do as much work as possible, reducing as many mistakes as possible. Uh, that's uh, called new trad window cleaning. It's a, a novel way of working, but there's no right or wrong way of working. It's just more efficient and effective ways of working. And hopefully this video has shown that if you put your mind to it, put everything in place to get your work to be more efficient and effective, you're going to be getting more work done with high quality in this time. Right, let's go.